All right, we're doing another <clears throat> fill sender in another GM car. Typically the 60s, 70s eras, they're 90 ohm. So we'll quick check, we're gonna grab our volt ohmmeter. We're gonna switch it over to ohm. See the resistance right there, ohm. We're gonna send it over to 2K. See right now, then we're gonna take our positive, put it on the sender here, and then the other one's gonna go on the negative side. You can go on the housing or here, it doesn't matter. Then already right there, you see we got uh, some, mind you, this is 90 ohms. So that's when it, the tank is completely up. Then I'm gonna slide this down and we're gonna watch it go all the way down to zero and probably tone out, showing it's empty. So now we're at empty, okay? I'm gonna slide it up, all the way up to 90 volts. There it is right there. And uh, this is just a way to check it so you don't go through the whole hassle of putting a brand new one in your car and it's defective because these are known to be defective right out of the box, but also to check the one that's in your car because there's a lot of cars out there that don't have working gas fuel gauges. This is an easy way to check. You can literally check this uh, if you're if you're able to access the sender from the uh, without dropping the tank down. You can go ahead and take your your um, your two wires off and then just check it with your volt ohm gauge and see if it reads anything at all. Likely it won't read anything at all or it'll be low even though you have a full tank of gas or close to it. So that way you know it's defective, but yeah, it's pretty easy.